Hi, my name is Casey Hosky. I'm currently a graduate student at Morningside College. I just finished my fourth year teaching kindergarten at Adele Elementary. Next year, I'll be teaching first grade in Clorinda. During my time at Morningside, I focused my research on the effects of number sense instruction on early elementary students' mathematics achievement, specifically in a kindergarten classroom. The problem is that early elementary students' math performance is at an all-time low in the United States. Students who are not proficient in mathematics will struggle in the classroom and then begin to fall behind their peers. These struggles not only impact the students academically, but it also causes damage to their emotional development, which then may affect their self-efficacy skills. These skills are needed to prepare them for the future. It's very important that math performance is a priority in all elementary classrooms. Number sense is a person's understanding in the general way that numbers and operations work and how that person can work with numbers. These number sense interventions can help students develop and understand numbers in more ways so that they can use these skills all throughout their life, not only in their elementary math career, but as they go on in middle school and high school level classes, as well as their future careers. I chose to work and do my research on number sense routines because our elementary was beginning to study the number sense routine book by Jessica Shumway. Our school wanted to provide strong interventions for students to develop strong number sense so that they would have that going into higher level math thinking and real world problems. It's important to develop these foundational skills in early elementary classrooms. Not only do these foundational skills help them as they begin their school math career, but it has a whole life impact. So when students are able to learn and have a strong number sense, they can then feel successful and they can be successful throughout their math classes, real world problem solving, and then their future careers. I wanted to test the validity and benefit from these number sense interventions in my classroom. The current literature talks a lot about different skills and the importance of math skills throughout their life and building that foundation in elementary. Research is missing on how to make those math skills stronger. Many students are lacking fundamental skills in mathematics. Fact fluency is something that is needed to develop those other those operational skills as they get into those trickier math problems. Fact fluency doesn't always have to be paper and pencil. Many schools take fact fluency time tests, but students actually just need to be able to recall the facts quickly. The number sense must come first, so they must understand the numbers before they can recall these facts quickly. And then recalling these facts quickly will help them to better their skills as they get into addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and then algebra as they get older. Their low math and self-efficacy, there's many research that states that it can hinder their learning and self-esteem throughout their lifetime in all these areas, not just throughout school. STEM is a program that's becoming very prominent in schools that focuses on science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. These skills need to be a priority and schools need to be ready to add in number sense routines to build that mathematics skills in their classroom. The objective of this study was to determine and validate the importance of kindergarten students having a strong number sense for math proficiency. I wanted my students to have a strong number sense and be able to be proficient in the skills that we expected them to know by the time they left kindergarten. Hypothesis for this study. Students who receive both number sense instruction and traditional math instruction 
will have a higher math proficiency compared to the students or classroom who received only the traditional math instruction. The two variables, the independent was the math instruction that was given to all students. So both sets of students received the traditional math instruction. The dependent variable was the student's math proficiency based on the post-test. As for the participants, there were 37 kindergarten students. Out of those 37 kindergarten students, three of those students received free and reduced lunch. Those percentages are pretty common for the entire school. It was a low, low amount of students who received free and reduced lunch. It's a mostly Caucasian group at the school. <clears throat> for the 2016 and 2017 classroom, which was the control group, there were 17 students, nine males and eight females. As for the 2017-2018 classroom, which was the experimental group, there were 20 students, which consisted of 11 males and nine females. The materials used in this research study were the Number Sense Routines text by Jessica Shumway, as well as the Adel Elementary math curriculum. This math curriculum was developed by our math curriculum team. This team consisted of a grade level representative from each grade level, as well as our math instructional coach and an administrator. This curriculum was developed based on the core standards that students need to be proficient in before they leave kindergarten. The students in the 2016 to 2017 classroom received traditional math instruction. The students in the 2017 to 2018 classroom, they received the daily interventions in number sense routines, as well as that traditional math instruction. Remember that traditional math instruction is based on the common core and the core standards that the Adel Elementary cur curriculum team had put together. This is consistent throughout the kindergarten classrooms at Adel Elementary. There was a pretest given at quarter one and then the post test for both classrooms was given in May. Both groups took the same post test in May of their school year. So the first group took their post test May 2017 and the second group took it in May 2018. This test was the district-wide kindergarten math assessment for Adel DeSoto Minburn schools. The test did not change from each year and both times the test was given with some independent questions, some were used hand, hands-on manipulatives, and sometimes the students worked one-on-one, -on -one, and sometimes it was a large group assessment. But both of those were consistent for each year. There was an independent samples t-test that was used to compare the means of the pre and the post test to see if the hypothesis was correct. To start out, the two groups were statistically similar as you can see by those numbers. The experimental group and the control group both scored similar on the pretest, which means both sets of classrooms had about the same experience and number sense when they came into kindergarten. Then you'll see that on the post test, it showed significant difference. So in the classroom where there was extra number sense routines given daily, there was a higher math proficiency at the end of the year. So the experimental group's post test was higher than the control, controls group, control group's post test. These results confirm the hypothesis. After the researcher analyzed the results, 
it was determined that the number sense routines and interventions that were done daily in the experimental group, it helped to increase the proficiency in math during that kindergarten school year. There are several implications <clears throat> for this study. This study was done in kindergarten. I'm curious as to know what it would look like in other grade levels. I realize that kindergarten is a very foundational time, but I think the benefit could also be shown in other grade levels going from first grade to second grade where there's a big jump in what they're expected to do in mathematics. Does this positive number sense follow them throughout their elementary years, or is it just something that is shown from the beginning of kindergarten with not a lot of exposure to numbers to the end of kindergarten where they've received daily interventions and math instruction? Would that look different from first grade where they've now had a year of exposure to number sense? Maybe it would. The t many teachers don't have time as much time for math as they do for other subject areas. That could be an implication of this study. Um, it seems that literacy instruction sometimes takes priority, so I think that the time spent in mathematics is very crucial. Should the amount of time vary from day to day, or should it be consistent? This varied in my classroom daily, but every day we did some sort of number intervention, whether it be a two-minute transition intervention or whether it was a routine that started off our math time for that day. As for the limitations, <clears throat> this study was done in a very short amount of time. It didn't follow a student through their elementary career. It just followed them through the beginning of kindergarten to the end of kindergarten. There could be many home influences that happened throughout this study. Some students had extra practice at home. Some parents might not value their education and might be a negative influence. Some students may have parents who are very supportive in their education just in general and might be highly involved to help them be proficient in all areas throughout school. Some students came into my kindergarten classrooms with a preschool experience, so they've been exposed to different number sense routines, whether that be very minimal or a lot, whereas some came in with no experience with numbers or even knowing what a number was. Um, many things have to be covered in, a, in an elementary classroom throughout the day. Um, there might not technically be enough time spent on math instruction daily. And that time could be consistent, which could be very, it could change the way the research is, the research findings, because of that inconsistent time that was spent daily. Also, absences could be a problem. Students may not have been feeling well or been sick on the pre-test or post-test. The amount of parent support. There might be extra distractions at school that had happened and different skills that may or may not have been practiced at home throughout the year. Recommendations if this study was going to be duplicated or if I could do this study again would be having a longer period of study to see what the benefits really were. I think it would be very beneficial to follow students throughout their educational career to see that impact and then as they go into their actual career to see how that number sense affects them. The sample size could be done as a whole grade level or half the grade level instead of just one classroom with about 20 students. The time spent. Some questions that I have are how much time should be spent on number sense routines daily to ensure that they are beneficial. Jessica Shumway in her book talks about five to 10 minutes can be very powerful. And should this number be the same every day or should it vary day to day? I think any amount of time that these are done can be very beneficial. So thank you for listening to my research presentation. These are some of the references that were used.